have, as we know, a lot of good fighters. That, uh, you know, you, David Rodela, among other fighters, come from the 805. Any other 805ians that we should look out for? Keep the legacy going. Uh, you know, there's a, there's quite a few fighters, but uh, out of our camp, you know, David Rodela, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, we have Rick Lopez. He's a good friend of mine. Is that pretty Ricky? Pretty Ricky, Ricky! Ricky. 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 What's up, Ricky? Yeah, yeah but um, other than that, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of great fighters, a lot of great talent. And let's just, uh, oh, one more thing that probably everybody if don't know, don't know by now. I, I'm uh, from Kansas, born and raised. So, oh wow! You know that's why a lot of people have always assumed and thought that I'm from you know Oxnard and stuff. But, uh -huh. You know I'm actually born and raised in Kansas, so that's why I always have my my trunk stamped with okay. Kansas. You know nice. I, I pro debuted out of Oxnard, but uh, you know, a lot of changes have gone on uh -huh. since then, and and I'm fighting out of Ventura with uh, a great team. You know. Okay, so Along once. David and, and, and once you win on Saturday, will you come back next week? Yeah, come definitely. hang out with us in the, oh, yeah. at the clubhouse? Yeah, yeah, okay, I promise? Will, gotta bring donuts, of course. You gotta bring <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> with sure, with the Hershey's Kiss inside. I'm going to step it up and bring burritos or something. Oh, right. yes. Hey, you, hey, you no, okay, it. but. 805, you heard it. <laughs> Pinky, <laughs> Pinky swear you're coming back. Pinky swear. swear. Pinky swear. swear. Because, oh, no, you know what? We've had people promise no, 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 to I come back and don't come back. But after I come back, I'm going to head out to Kansas, you know? Okay, that's right. I do that. I come I come back from my fight and stuff maybe a little bruised up or something and I, I just go i go home for a while okay yeah. good just that's because good. you know that's why i was i don't know man it's like that's home Oxnard's home to you guys you know uh -huh. say thank you to to my buddy david rodela you know he just fought last thursday and uh you know he hooked me up with you guys once again and uh mm -hmm. of course uh i'm gonna go down this list real quick rick lopez of course, that dude got down also on the undercard of my boy over here. He wrote them all out. And uh, yeah, for sure, Victor Duran, um, and the Warrior Training Center, of course, and uh, Ellis, my boy, he gives me my massages, man. And he oh, does good, what man. kind of massages? Man, I get them like, hard, like like rough. As they're night, man. really, they're not like Thai massages, right? Not Are like they? the happy ending and stuff. No, 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 no. Because I got a Thai massage like two weeks ago, and I kid you not, I'm still kind of sore from that. No, I wasn't talking about that marrano. <laughs> and of course, uh, last but not least, Mario Aguiniga and my coach Danny Daniel Garcia. You know, they're they're doing a great job. Oh yeah, and Haas. How can I forget about Haas? Man? How could you? Yeah, Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, so that was my list. But um, you know, yeah, it, it's been uh, it's been very different these past few years. You know, I've been uh, introduced to a whole new team, um, Golden Boy. I'm with uh, David and I are all with Golden Boy now, and and uh, we're hanging in there. I mean, we're doing what you know what we're told to do. I mean, we train hard, and we just uh, we 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 go for it. You know, yeah, yeah. ready for the twelve or whatever comes, but. We're pretty much always on point, man. Um, so what it has, I mean, I know you're, you're signed with Golden Boy. Four years ago, dude, a kid who was about to graduate from high school. Yeah. How does it feel now, you know, to come back and come on the same station four years later and talk about how you have, like, your main event, I mean, Staples Center, right, this Saturday? Yeah, it's nuts. It's uh, it's definitely different. Which I, is going to be on HBO, too. HBO, yeah. I'm, I'm finally headlining something, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, it's definitely, you know, falling into place. You know, um, thank God. I mean, it's something I've always worked for and looked forward to. You know, it's the world championship on the line. I just turned 22, so you know, I, wow. I mean, you know, I was I was 17 the last time I was about 17, uh -huh. 18 when yeah. I came yeah. here. So it, it's been a while, but you know, I, I'm just keeping the hunger in there and, and making sure to stay ahead of the game. On, you know, because I know a lot of people are out there that are pretty hungry right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't know. Whoever's in my way is not. Well, speaking not of in, in a walk in the park. Speaking of like the hunger that you have right now, there's there are you know summer vacation, a lot of kids out there right now listening. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can you tell them? Because we've seen you as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Now you're an, you're a man getting ready to fight for a championship. And what can you tell the kids that are out there right now listening that want to be in your shoes in a couple years? Yeah, I can just say you know um, just keep the dreams alive. You know, don't. I mean, I've been put down so many times by people left and right. You know. Mm -hmm. um, it, the list always goes on of, of negativity. It's never going to end. You're never going to make everyone happy. Right. But you can try and block everyone out, channel that negativity into positive, and uh, work hard. You know, for all the, you're not going to be this, you can't, you won't. Hey, thank you very much. 
Keep saying it, you know. What's Come up, at man? me. Come at me. What's the record now, man? It's uh well it's supposed to be twenty six and no with twenty three knockouts, but I have that DQ and that cut on my head. Alright. But uh other than that, you know, I, I'm virtually undefeated, but um I have a, a one, so I, I have twenty four, one and one with uh nineteen knockouts, which hey man, it's not bad. It's All not right. a bad way to go. Um I'm it's fighting a, a guy who's a good very record tough. to me. <laughs> yeah, you it's know, a good record to me, man. The, the guy I'm fighting is pretty tough too, you know, he's uh 25 and 1 with 24 knockouts, so, uh, you know, it's going to be a good night, man. We're going to dance pretty hard. Hey, man, you're, you're pretty humble, I must say. Like, you know, with a record like that, you can you can basically say, look, the record shows what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but you, 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 you broke it down a bit, so you're pretty humble, too. I like What's that. Up? This is your boy, Victor Ortiz. That's right. David Rodella. And this is Nick. And this here is Adam. And so, we're just here just showing some love to you guys. And, hey, thank you for having us. It was great. It was fun, you know. And uh, next time I'm going to bring some burritos, though. <laughs> Spice it up a bit. <laughs>